Welcome my magical dolls. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm so excited because it is finally happening. I am finally showing you my entire Disney collection bookcase tour. So in this video, I will not be including any Harry Potter shelves or any Marvel shelves due to time, but all of my Disney collection I will be showing you. It's strictly Disney. So this side of my room, I'm just giving you a quick overview, is very magical, very colourful. And then the other side of my room, I have a bookcase, which is all Halloween vibes, villain vibes, which I'll also be including. Past my Mulan canvas and my super cute squishies. There is that bookcase that I was talking about, which will also be in this video. Then if we just pan over, just give you a quick overview. So let's get started. So the very first shelf that I'll be starting with is my Princess and the Frog shelf, which is definitely one of my favourites because it has my ultimate grail gym show on there. My ultimate grail, which is my Tiana in a green dress. It is stunning. It is massive. I have too many Funkos in front of her, Tiana and Naveen, and then my grail Tiana. Moving down, we have another grail Tiana. This is Tiana in a blue dress looking at Naveen. So pretty. And then up the back, we have another Tiana in a blue dress. And moving down, we have the two frogs, Naveen and Tiana. My friend Catherine gifted this gym show to me. And then I also have another gym show of Tiana in a green dress, which was actually my very first Tiana gym show. And then at the back, we have the Princess and the Frog mug, which I love because it's kind of like the perfect centerpiece for the shelf because it says the name in the movie. And then we have Tiana in Funko form with Naveen in Funko form and they're both glittery, a mini Tiana Funko. And then we have the White Woodland Tiana and Lewis Gym Show, which is so beautiful. And then at the back, moving along, we have the blue dress Tiana Pop Funko, which is gorgeous. And also a hand-painted small shop mason jar that my friend Brittany got me with Tiana and Naveen dancing. So the next shelf that I have is my Beachy Vibes shelf. I have a Moana Pop Funko and then I have a Maui and Moana Gym Show. Now these are both incredibly rare so I'm very lucky to have them. Especially Maui, he's very hard to get hold of and he is so gorgeous. I love the bright colours on him, the fact that Hey Hey is on him, his tattoos are insane and then Moana is just gorgeous. She actually has Pua as well. Pua, Pua, I can't say that name. So, so happy. These are gorgeous. That's my very small Moana collection. And then speaking of rare, we have another rare gym show, the Lilo and Stitch Ohana gym show, which fun fact, they're actually reproducing. So if you did want to get your hands on this, you can get the new one that they're slowly manufacturing. But I've got the first edition, which makes me very happy because this is one of my favorites in my collection. I also have a Stitch gym show, which was one of my very first gym shows. That's why I keep it around. And then I have a King Triton Pop Funko that my friend Sue got me, which is gorgeous. And then I know I don't like Ariel, but I love King Triton. So I have to get this beautiful gym show and King Triton is hot. We also have Scuttle. Next, we have my Hercules shelf. So starting off with these two vintage, amazing Pain and Panic figurines that my friend Sue got me. I have this gorgeous art print of Hercules and Megara. And then right next to those figurines and the art print, I have this mug of Hades and he looks stunning as always. And then I have a couple of Pop Funkos starting off with Hercules, which is super cute. And right next to Hercules, I also have this Zeus and Pegasus has a cloud pop Funko, which is definitely one of my favourites in my collection. It's so well designed. And then we have a Grail gym show at the back. We have the Hercules gym show, which is so rare and so hard to get hold of. It is absolutely gorgeous. Honey, you mean Hercules? Speaking of gorgeous gym shows, we have the Hades and Megara gym show right next to that. And Megara looks so sassy and extra gorgeous in that gym show. We have a really pretty tumbler at the back that my friend Catherine got me with Pain and Panic. And on the other side of it, we have Hades. And then moving down, we have the skull emblem of Hades and a Hades Pop Funko, which actually glows in the dark. And we have a Pegasus and Hercules Pop Funko ride right next to him with a little Hercules keyring as well, which is so cute. Next, we move on to my Evil Queen shelf. I have my Evil Queen Pop Funko and this stunning Miss Mindy Evil Queen, which actually glows in the dark. It's gorgeous. And then we have this amazing, super rare, hard to get hold of Evil Queen on a peacock throne, which a lot of people don't even know exists. And right next to that, we have the Evil Queen giving us some serious side eye with a pumpkin. And we have a drama gym show with Evil Queen on it. This is a very heavily based Evil Queen shelf and I'm totally okay with it because she's one of the best villains in my opinion. We have a newer gym show to the gym show world which is Evil Queen back to back with snow. I love the bright colours on this one. It's gorgeous. 
And then also we have the Carved by Heart Snow by an Evil Queen gym show with the Seven Dwarfs, which is so cute. And I believe this is the first edition. There's a more purple one and there's a more blue one. And I think I've got the rarer one, which is the bluer one. I might be wrong on that, but who knows? But it's gorgeous anyway. And yeah, that's my Snow White shelf. Next, we've got another Snow White shelf. We have a mini Funko of Snow White, and then we have this rare Grumpy and the Organ gym show, which is absolutely gorgeous, and I know that a lot of you love that gym show. It's part of the musical collection, which I worked really hard on completing. And then we have this gorgeous Pop Funko of Snow with a gooseberry pie and a couple of the animals. Moving up, we have Prince Charming and Snow White. I love the colours on this one. I think it's a gorgeous gym show. And then moving across, we have the Seven Dwarfs on the Log, which is actually one of Jim's favourite gym shows that he ever created. Fun fact for you. And then we have the rest of the musical collection, which, like I said, I worked really hard on completing. So you've got all the dwarfs having a fantastic time with the instruments, just like the scene in the movie. We have Bashful, who is my favourite dwarf. He is so cute. And then moving across, we have Snow and we have the other dwarfs, which help finish off my musical collection set. Again, dancing like the scene in the movie. So I love this shelf and I definitely love that musical collection. And I actually finished it in a couple of months, which was surprising because they were very rare gym shows. So very happy. Next, we have a very miscellaneous shelf. We've got a mini Funko of Jasmine and we've got the group hug Aladdin gym show, which is absolutely gorgeous. Then we have a couple of sidekicks. We have Susie, Gus and Perla from Cinderella, the little mice. Moving along, we have Miko and Flit, two super cute sidekicks. We have this gorgeous exclusive Pop Funko of Pocahontas. And then at the back, we have this stunning rare gym show of Pocahontas with Flit. I love that one so much. So happy that I have it in my collection. And then moving across, we have Dajali and we have Esmeralda. And when I found out that Esmeralda was becoming a gym show, I screamed. I was so happy. I remember that day like yesterday because I wanted a gym show of Esmeralda for so long. And it's finally happened and I have it in my collection. We have an art print of Esmeralda from the God Help the Outcast scene and a gorgeous Funko of Esmeralda as well. Then we move on to my Beauty and the Beast collection. Now, starting off with my Lumieres, my gym show Lumiere and my replica candlestick Lumiere. Moving down to a rare gym show, The Love Conquers All with The Beast and Belle. We also have a mini Cogsworth and a mini Chip and Potts, which is so cute. We have Maurice and Belle at the back. I love that gym show because Maurice is such a great father and I love the way he looks at her in that gym show. And then I have a Cogsworth replica clock at the back, which is amazing. And I have a chip mug, which is so cute. I have the replica of the wardrobe at the back, which I'm obsessed with. I think that is gorgeous. And I also have a gym show of Miss Potts and Chip at the bottom there, which I got from a Disney Secret Santa a long time ago, which I love. Moving on to more Beauty and the Beast, I have a Gaston Pop Funko and the Gaston and LeFou gym show, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love that one. I have the first edition Carved by Heart Beauty and the Beast gym show. And then right next to that, I have a super cute Funko of the Winter Beast with the bird. And then to match that, right at the back, I have the rare coloured version of the Something There gym show with Belle and the Beast. And then speaking of rares, we have the rare gorgeous gym show of Miss Jessica Rabbit, which I'm obsessed with. And I actually got this at a really affordable price. Like it was a crazy cheap price. And I also have an art print of Jessica Rabbit right next to it. But oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. Look at her curves, like look at her legs. Obsessed with Jessica Rabbit, obsessed with that gym show. Moving on, we have my Eeyore shelf. I have my colorful Brito Eeyore, which I love. And then I have Eeyore and his birthday hat as a gym show. This was gifted to me by my friend, Catherine. I have a random Fumper gym show at the back because I didn't know where else to put him, but he's so cute. And then I have iconic Eeyore coming up, like standard Eeyore, looking super depressed as usual. I get gifted a lot of Eeyores, mostly all of these were gifted. And I honestly think it's because I suffer from depression as well. And I think that people associate me with depressive Eeyore, which I'm fine with. <laughs> and I love them all. Best gifts ever. But like, I just find it hilarious how everybody wants to gift me Eeyore. So clearly I'm depressive. We have Easter Eeyore as well as Halloween Eeyore. And then we have Winnie and Piglet, which was also gifted by my wonderful friend Catherine. And it's so cute and colourful, this one. I love it. So that is my depressive but colourful Eeyore shelf. On the top of my bookcase, I have my Dumbo popcorn bucket from California, a lounge fly, a Max Pop, and another lounge fly, Max and Roxanne. Then, starting off my Dumbo collection, I have this 
gorgeous, absolutely huge Dumbo and Timothy Gymshaw, which is a grail of mine and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. It's beautiful. And then you have two figural keyrings of Timothy the Mouse and Dumbo, a Timothy mini figurine. I have this statue of Dumbo that my friend Kat got me years ago. I have a Dumbo Pop Funko at the back there. Then I have this huge Dumbo circus tent Gymshaw and it does not do it justice on camera on how beautiful it is or how big it is. It's massive. I have another gift from Cat. This was a customized ornament. I have a Pop Funko ride of Minnie Mouse riding Dumbo, like the attraction in the Disney parks. Reminds me of Walt Disney World. A mini Dumbo statue from my brother that I had years ago. And at the back, another ride gym show, the stock and baby Dumbo, which is so gorgeous and one of my favorites. I love how colorful the stock is and it's just so beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite shelves in my collection. Then moving on to another Dumbo shelf, I have this shelf with Mickey Mouse riding the Dumbo attraction, which is one of my favorite gym shows. I love the park exclusive gym shows because they remind me of Walt Disney World, my happy place. Then we have two Britos, a mini one in front, and then this gorgeous pink glittery one, which is definitely my favorite out of the two. Then I have a baby Dumbo Pop Funko at the back, standing on top of a Wishes Candle candle, which is the Big Top Souvenirs, which is the gift shop in Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World. Smells of candy floss and sweets. We have a Dumbo statue. We have a pink Dumbo mug at the back. This was a gift from my friend Catherine. It is a gym show of baby Dumbo and it's so cute. We have a Shop Disney Dumbo plant holder, which I love so much. And then moving on, we have this Baby Dumbo and Mrs. Jumbo showcase figurine, which I adore because it reminds me of my relationship with my mum. So Mrs. Jumbo and Baby Dumbo are very special to me. And then I have a Mrs. Jumbo and Baby Dumbo gym show, which was kindly gifted to me by my friend Susan through a Disney swap. So I love the shelf very much, especially Mrs. Jumbo and Dumbo. Then we move on to my Lady and the Tramp shelf and my Disney Doggles shelf, starting off with this gorgeous spring Lady and the Tramp gym show and a rare gym show of Lady in the Christmas gift box. Right next to that rare gym show, we have an ornament of the Bella Notte scene. Then we have another rare, we have Nana. Poor Nana. Sorry guys, I had to say that. I love this one. This is one of my favourite like rare gym shows in my collection because it's so colourful and I just adore Nana. And then right next to it, we have another riot. We have the Lady and the Tramp Bella Notte scene gym show, which actually lights up. The moon lights up. It is stunning. And I'm so glad to finally have that in my collection. Next, another riot is Peg from Lady and the Tramp. And we have the Bella Notte mug at the back and another ornament. Then we have a miscellaneous shelf. This is a lot of Minnie Mouse and Daisy, Tangled. It's a mixture. So we have my very first gym show ever right there, which is Minnie with the Roses. Then we have this stunning Mickey and Minnie on the Swing gym show, which is definitely one of my favourites in my collection. Then we have a rare gym show of Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck eating popcorn. Girls Night In, so cute. We also have Minnie and Donald has key rings. Sorry, Daisy and Donald has key rings. And a super cute Daisy figurine next to them. And then moving up, we have this pink home castle flask. And we have Figaro, the cat, which is actually Minnie's cat. That's why he's there. Then we have this figment gym show, which I got from Walt Disney World. So it reminds me of my happy place. It is so cute. I love mischievous figment. Then we are starting off the Tangled Rapunzel collection with the storybook. One Magical Night, Flynn and Rapunzel. Then right in front, we have this gorgeous, colourful Pop Funko of Rapunzel with Pascal on top of her, which is so cute. Moving along, we have my two Rapunzel Dream Shows. This one is actually a treasure keeper. You can pull out a drawer, which is adorable. And then right at the back, we have the Rara Rapunzel, which is one of the first Rapunzels ever made. And it's so beautiful. And you also have Pascal on there as well. Then we start with my Emperor's New Groove shelf, which is definitely a work in progress. I mostly have Pop Van Gogh, so I have Kronk, Pacha, Cusco, and then right in the center, the one that makes this shelf is the gorgeous Yzma Gym Show. This is just stunning. I love it so much, but I'm really hoping for some more Emperor's New Grooves Gym Shows because at the moment, this shelf looks quite bare. And then we have more Pop Van Goghs, Yzma, which is the glow in the dark one. We have Yzma the cat, which also glows in the dark. And we have these really hard to get Pop Van Goghs of Kronk and Yzma in their laboratory costumes, ready to make the potion. Next, we got another work in progress shelf. I just got a couple of Pop Van Goghs on here. I've got Daisy Duck, I've got Rainbow Unicorn, Joy, 
discussed the total mood sadness I love a bit of sadness and then I also have Bing Bong who is my favorite pop and go on the shelf he's so cute then on this shelf we've got my two designer dolls Mulan Li Shang Queen of Hearts and a gorgeous Coco lounge fly bag Next, we have my Mulan shelf. We have this gorgeous pop and go ride of Mulan and Khan the horse, which my friend Katrin kindly got for me, and I love it. Then my friend Brittany got me these super cute pop and goes of Cricky and Mushu, best sidekicks ever, in my opinion. Then we have this beautiful art print of Warrior Mulan in the back, and we have a Mushu gym show that my friend Miranda got me. I love him so much. Then we have a Li Shang Pop Van Gogh, which actually only cost me £2, which still to this day blows my mind. Then we have a gorgeous gym show that my mother got for me one Christmas, which is Mulan with the Sword of Shang Yu. Such a gorgeous gym show. And then at the back, we have Mulan's comb, which you can't see very well because I haven't displayed it well at all. So I need to move that towards the front, I think, but it's stunning. And then right in the centre of the shelf, we have the beautiful white woodland gym show with little brother Mulan and Mushu and we have the Li Shang and Mulan fairy tale designer mug at the back there then we have this gorgeous pop Van Gogh of Mulan with a fan and then we have a mini Van Gogh of Mulan and then this gorgeous gym show which is so colorful it's Khan, Mulan and her father I absolutely love that gym show so beautiful and then we have this stunning gym show of Mulan in her pink dress with little Mushu there. She's looking at him, they're looking at each other. So that's my Mulan shelf. Next, we have my Alice Pop shelf, which is definitely one of my favourites. Starting off with Cheshire Cat at the back, my chunky boy. And then in front, I have the pink translucent Pop Van Gogh Cheshire Cat and the purple one. Then we have the Sassy Caterpillar, which is definitely one of my favourite Pop Van Goghs of all time. We have a couple of Alice Pops, one with the Drink Me Bottle and one of Alice Curtsy in. And then at the back, I got this gorgeous Disney Park exclusive Pop Van Gogh of Alice in the purple teacup. I got it from Walt Disney World. I got the park exclusive Mad Hatter in his teacup. Then next to that, I have another Mad Hatter Pop Van Gogh of him spilling the tea. And then we have the iconic rabbits from Alice in Wonderland. We have the white rabbit with his pocket watch and the match hair with his coffee. Next to that, we have the Queen of Hearts, and she's absolutely gorgeous in Pop Funko form. And in front of her, we have the King, which is so cute. Such an obscure character. I'm so happy that they made the King in Pop Funko form. Next, we have one of the Tweedles. I also have the matching Tweedle, but it's at the back somewhere. And then speaking of obscure, we have these really obscure, unique characters, the Carpenter and the Walrus, which I was so happy to have finally made in Pop Funko form. They're adorable. Then we have this deluxe Pop Van Gogh of Alice with the flowers from the Golden Afternoon scene. At the back, we have the Queen of Hearts mug. And then we have another Queen of Hearts Pop Van Gogh with the croquet scene with the dodo bird and the green hedgehog there, which you can kind of see. So that's my Alice Pops. Moving on to another Alice shelf. I have my Miss Mindy's here. I have my gorgeous Cheshire Cat on the mushroom Miss Mindy. Next to that, I have my White Rabbit Miss Mindy. Then I have an Alice one that my friend Vanessa got me, and she's so beautiful. And then right at the back, we have a glow-in-the-dark Queen of Hearts Miss Mindy with Cheshire Cat on top. I absolutely love that one. I think it's stunning. So that's my small collection of Alice in Wonderland Miss Mindy's. And then moving along, we have my Alice in Wonderland book. And right next to that, we have Shop Disney's Plant Holder, which is the white rabbit in a teacup. Then I have this super cute mini pink clock that my friend Cassidy got me in Mad Hatter's mug with a wishable inside. And it's the Dormouse, so cute. Next, we have my Alice in Wonderland gym show shelf, starting off with the gorgeous Cheshire Cat on the tree branch. Then we have this rare gym show of Alice on the mushrooms. I love the pretty pastel colours in this one. Moving up, we have Alice back to back with the Queen of Hearts. I love how colourful this one is. And it's quite new to the gym show world. And then moving across, we have another colourful Alice gym show, which is the Alice Stacked Tower gym show. And I love that the Cheshire Cat and the Dormouse are at the top of that gym show. It's so beautiful. Definitely one of my favourites in my collection. Moving down, we have Alice in the Flower Throne with the Bread and Butterflies. Sorry if you can hear some noise right now, guys. My dog has just walked in my room. I love to interrupt my videos. We have the very first Alice gym show in the front there and then we have Cheshire Cat right next to it which is actually a Christmas ornament that I leave up all year round on my shelf 
we have this very rare teacup and saucer with the match hair and off the back of it you have the Mad Hatter. Speaking of the Mad Hatter, we have this gorgeous Mad Hatter gym show here, making some tea with all the teapots. We have a couple of Cheshire Cat gym shows. And then moving up at the back, we have a stunning white woodland gym show, which my friend Katrin got me. Here it is. And you actually have Dinah on that one, which makes me very happy because you don't see Dinah very often. Moving along right next to it, we have a super rad gym show of the Alice teapot. And you've got a couple of flowers from the golden afternoon scene. That one is so colourful and definitely one of my favourites in my collection. Moving down, we have the very first Mad Hatter gym show. I don't know if you can see that at the back. We have the very first Cheshire Cat gym show. Then we have a Cheshire Cat sitting down looking extra mischievous. Then we have a Disneyland Paris Park exclusive, which is Cheshire Cat looking super wacky in a yellow teacup. I absolutely love that one. And then if you move over... We can see Alice riding a caterpillar, which is based on the attraction in Disneyland, California. I got that from Walt Disney World. It's a park exclusive, a Disney park exclusive. Then right next to that, we have the gorgeous caterpillar gym show, which is very rare and so hard to get hold of. It's definitely one of my favorites in my collection. But his hand is broken, which is absolutely heartbreaking. And at the back, we have a Queen of Hearts gym show, which I don't think I mentioned. Then we move on to a very heavily Cheshire Cat based shelf. We have my Cheshire Cat money bank, a couple of Cheshire Cat mugs and a gorgeous Cheshire Cat tumbler that my friend Sue got me. Moving along, we have this gorgeous Alice in Wonderland Disneyland Paris park exclusive figurine set. We have an Alice tumbler, a Cheshire Cat wishable, Cheshire Cat bowl and another mug as well. So that is my very random miscellaneous Alice shelf. Next, we move on to my Monsters Inc. shelf and the paint job is absolutely horrific. Let's just say that now and get it over with. Oh my gosh, I need to repaint that. But we have Boo in a monster outfit. We have Sully. We have Mike and I love this Pop Funko. It's so detailed. Then we have the gorgeous Celia Wheelia and I would love to see Celia as a gym show. Then we have these super rare gym shows of Mike and Sully. They are so gorgeous and so colourful. I'm obsessed with these. Definitely two of my faves in my collection. Now we're starting off at the top of my Halloween-y villainous bookcase. We have a purple witch hat. We have my Hocus Pocus book, which I couldn't actually fit on my actual Hocus Pocus shelf. We have a black spell book at the back. We have these gorgeous, iconic purple witch boots, which took me many years to find, but I eventually tracked them down. They're all from HomeSense. We also have this HomeSense black cat on a pumpkin, which I have named Binks, and I love him so much. He's my fave we move on to my hocus pocus sanderson sisters shelf so i have my i'm the fourth sanderson sister mug at the back there from my friend Catherine, and i definitely am the fourth sanderson sister i have the three main witches the sanderson sisters as pop funkos i have danny and binks which is such a cute pop funko i have this gorgeous art print of the sanderson sisters at the back from an artist called mike prouse i have billy butcherson pop funko i have more pop funkos i love mary with the cheese puffs i think it's adorable i have have a hocus pocus spell jar and also sarah samson there then we have my nightmare for christmas shelf starting off with this gorgeous jack and sally gym show a sally pop funko this beautiful sally kneeling down gym show which i'm obsessed with that my friend Brittany got me this alice wonderland and nightmare for christmas crossover art print at the back with sally has alice and jack has the mad hatter we have a mare pop funko in the front then we have Lock, Shock and Barrel in the bathtub as a gym show. Moving on, we got a Jack Skeleton gym show with a spider web. And at the back, we have a Jack Goblet, which you can barely see. I need to work on the shelf a lot better to display everything. We have another Lock, Shock and Barrel gym show that my friend Sue got me. The rare and discontinued Adorable Zero gym show. A Deadly Nightshade mug. Then we have this huge gym show at the back, which you can barely see. Again, I need to work on the shelf, but it is the Kidnop... Kidnop? Kidnap the Sandy Claus. Oh my God, I can't speak. My stuff is a hard, guys. Um, It's a gym show, okay? Let's just leave it at that. Um, We have Sally and Jack at the back, the movie moment, Pop and Go, which I adore. And again, I need to show it off, but I'm not happy with the shelf. I have an Oogie Boogie Pop and Go, which is really creepy, actually. And then finally, I have a Oogie Boogie gym show, which I love and is definitely one of my favorites in my collection. I think it's like detailed and gorgeous. And I'm just obsessed with Oogie Boogie, but it's definitely one of my favorites in my collection. 
Moving on, we have my body language. Ha, you guys knew I had to do that. We have my Ursula shelf, my Sea Witch shelf. I'm obsessed with Ursula. I love this gigantic pop and go that my friend Catherine got me. Then I've got this smaller pop and go of Ursula with a trident and Ursula keyring. I have this R print of Vanessa looking in to see her true self, Ursula in the mirror. At the back, I have a tiny pop and go mini which is so cute and it's standing on top of like this light up Ursula mason jar. I think that's the best way I could describe it. And then right in front, we have a gorgeous gym show, a trick-or-treat gym show of Ursula. Right next to that, we have the Vanessa Pop Funko and the Ursula Pop Funko with her sidekicks. Gorgeous. And then moving along, we have this amazing gym show of Ursula, which I'm obsessed with. But before we go there, <laughs> my voiceover does not match my clips. We have an Ursula mug. I love her curves in that mug. Then we have this gorgeous art print by Mike Prowse, which is Ursula and her sidekicks. And then we get to see the gym show, which is the gorgeous Ursula. Looking extra sassy in this. I love her tentacles, the details on them. Absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we have my villain shelf, which is definitely one of my favourite shelves in my collection. We are starting off with Hades, who looks stunning. I love him. And it's actually very rare and hard to get hold of now. And I believe he goes for crazy prices. So I feel lucky to have him in my collection. We have this Lady Tremaine and Evil Stepsisters gym show, which is gorgeous. We have a very rare Maleficent. This is the first edition of Maleficent and Diaval. Yes, her finger is broken again. I don't want to talk about it. Anything that's broken, I don't want to talk about it. It upsets me. We have myself in a few years, which is the marvellous, magnificent Madame Mim gym show. She is gorgeous. I love the bright colours on her. We have a figural keyring of her. We have Mim in her pig form, has a pop funko, which is so cute. We have one of my favourite pop funkos of all time, which is Madame Mim has the dragon. Then we have this glow-in-the-dark Maleficent Flames Pop Funko, which is stunning. And right at the back, we have the Maleficent Dragon, which also glows in the dark and is also stunning. And then we have this gym show of the Dr. Facilier one. And I think this is rare. Don't quote me on that one. I'm not too sure. But I don't see it very often, so I'm going to say it's rare. And right next to that, we have this gorgeous Cruella de Vil Pop Funko. And we have this rare, very first Cruella gym show, which I'm obsessed with. And I feel very lucky to have. I love the details on her and the colours. And then moving right at the back, we have this super cute Jafar keyring. And we have the Jafar gym show, which I think is stunning and much better in person. My father got it for me for Christmas. And we have my Halloween shelf. So I have my ultimate grail Halloween gym show, which is Minnie has the witch. It is absolutely gorgeous. Then we have Mickey Mouse as a vampire. His little fangs are so cute and I love the colours on him. And then we have the matching Minnie Mouse has like a vampire S with her pumpkin basket, adorable. And then moving down, we have a very random pink sugar skull, which I got from the Mexican pavilion in Epcot in Walt Disney World. And then I have only two Haunted Mansion gym shows. This one is stunning. It is the free Hitchhiking Ghosts and it's actually glow in the dark. Gorgeous. And then moving across, we have the Hatbox Ghost, which is super cool. I got it from Disneyland Paris and his head is actually removable and you can pop it in the jar, which is insane in my opinion. Then we have more Halloween gym shows. I have Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse as the Pumpkin King and Queen. These gym shows are adorable and I don't think they're very easy to find. I don't want to say they're rare, but I think they're not like common, if that makes sense. And then we have Black and White, Vampire Mickey and Minnie Witch as Pop Funkos. Moving along, we have a super rare gym show. This is absolutely huge and so cute. It is Mickey Mouse popping out of a pumpkin and you can actually pop him in and out, which is adorable. And then we have Stitch in his devil costume. Moving down, we have Pegasus from Fantasia, such a cute gym show. And then my favourite Halloween gym shows in my collection is Mickey Mouse has Frankenstein's Monster and Minnie Mouse has Frankenstein's Bride. These are just so gorgeous and like I said, definitely my favourite Halloween gym shows. And there we have it. That was my entire Disney bookcase tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comment section which shelf or which bookcase was your favourite. And yeah, that's everything. Stay magical. Bye guys. Mwah.